Hey guys, it's Mike from Skyletter.com. You're probably wondering why I got this goofy grin on my face. It's because I'm excited. We just got thermite kits back in stock. If you've never made thermite before, it's a composition that burns at 4,000 degrees. It's actually a really safe composition to work with because its ignition point is 3,000 degrees. It's not a super technical project and there's nothing fancy. What I'm going to do is take the two chemicals, mix them up in a Ziploc bag, and light it up. Here's what comes in the kit. Six pounds of red iron oxide, two pounds of 13 micron spherical aluminum, and a package of sparklers. Let's go ahead and pop these boxes open and make some thermite. So all we're going to do is dump this stuff to a large Ziploc bag and mix it up. I'm going to just knead this stuff for about 5-10 minutes until we get a nice thorough mix. So here's the red iron oxide and 2 pounds of 13 micron spherical aluminum. You're probably wondering what the sparklers are for. Um, we're going to use these as an ignition source. So we're just going to pull one out and stick it in our composition and we're going to light that on fire and that will get our thermite going. All right. Got a giant Ziploc bag here. You can mix this in a coffee can. I like a big bag though. It'll almost all fit right in the bag that that iron oxide came in. You know what? So I'm going to ditch the Ziploc all together and I'm just going to mix it just with the contents. See, there's plenty of room in there. I'm going to try and keep the dust down and I don't have to move as much powder this way. So here goes nothing. Nice and easy. This is going to be a lot of thermite. This is going to be fun. get it all out there. I don't like to waste pyrochems. We'll just twist that up and put the twist tie right back on it. Mix that up just like it's just like kneading a big ball of dough. Now that spherical aluminum is the it's what you want for thermite. It's going to mix a lot easier than like a dark flake aluminum. Uh, so you can use that, but spherical aluminum is going to be going to give you a lot more thorough mixture. Keeping my hand on the end of this bag just in case it tries to pop open since it's not a actual Ziploc, but I'm going to go sit down and kick back in my chair and mix this up and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay guys, I've been mixing this stuff up for about 10 minutes now, getting the clumps out, and it's ready to go. So. Let's go burn a hole in something. Okay, so I moved all that thermite into this big coffee can I got, and uh, I put some tin foil over it to keep any sparks from landing on the composition, uh, creating an early detonation. All right, and what we're gonna do is uh, take this sparkler here, and bend it. Whoop, where'd it go? I'm gonna bend it in half, just like that, and it's gonna go right through the top. And uh, you see this? Uh, we got it all set up on our TV here, and uh, we got a nice Christmas tree in the background, and 
This is what it would be like if you lit one of our thermite kits off in your living room during the holidays. All right, so let's do it. Yeah. That was a huge fireball. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell on uh, on TV here or on your computer, but that was about 20 feet in the air and uh, it's burning a hole right down through that TV set. I'm sure it went right through the coffee can. And that Christmas tree isn't gonna exist in a few minutes. Well, you can see all the, all the pine needles are off of it. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and if you want to be notified when we're posting videos hit that notification bell all right and uh if you want to buy one of our kits there will be a link in the description okay all right thanks guys